Hi everyone, Kate here for the October book for Betsy Tacey 2019. In case this is your first video uh, in this series watching, myself and Kelly from Books I'm Not Reading and Katie from Life Between Words have been hosting a year-long marvelous, wonderful read-through Maud Hart Lovelace's Betsy Tasty series. And then now we're into the Deep Valley books, which may feature some of the same characters. It's in the same world, but it's not Betsy, Tacey, and Tib are not the focal point of the series. And October Selection was a marvelous book, and that is Emily of Deep Valley. I went into this blind. I had no idea what it was going to be like, and it really did exceed my expectations. I was worried I would miss Betsy, Tacey, and Tib in it. Um, they do make an appearance, which was very fun. And uh, it, it was just lovely. We follow Emily, the main character, and... She's feeling very forlorn after graduating high school because she knows that all her friends are going off to college. They're going to learn and become cultured and educated. And she is staying home with her grandfather. She is an orphan, but she lives with her loving grandfather. So that's really nice. And she has this very cozy house that's kind of tucked away in Deep Valley. It was a new part of Deep Valley I hadn't heard about. And she kind of pouts for a couple months. She's sad and rightly so. I would be sad if I was staying home and I felt, you know, things were pretty anticlimactic. But what I love about this is she finds out different things that she loves and is passionate about over the course of the year and finds real purpose for her life. Well, I just think Maud Hart Lovelace, if I had known her, would be such a kindred spirit. I think she has such a love for finding your passions and what you're excited about and really running with it, really taking the time to invest in those and not to be shy about what you like or ashamed of what you like if it makes you different. And Emily uh, starts a book club at one point and then she starts to make some friends with some of the, um, the, the Betsy's crowd actually. So people who were in Betsy's class and had graduated several years before she did. And also what's a really, really special element of this that's thrown in here is that she becomes friends with um, some of the Syrian refugees that are there. And I remember, you know, several of us who read the early Betsy Tacey books said we loved that they were so kind to the Syrian refugees and what happened to them. So you do get to see a bit more of them in this and how Emily really takes it upon her shoulders to really... Um, what do I want to say, really invest in those relationships with the different Syrian friends that she's made. And in the meanwhile, improving herself, she starts taking dance lessons. She starts the, the Browning Club, so Robert Browning, and then I think they kind of expand beyond that. And uh, she even figures out a way to build friendships between the uh, American uh, children that live in Deep Valley and the Syrian children, because I think there is this there can be this real fear of someone who's different than you and you don't know how to build the bridge. And they end up really bonding over wrestling, which I think is really fun. And boys really do especially love to be physically active. And I thought that was just a really special element of this and how it's harnessed. And the romantic lead in this, I loved him. He's this Southern gentleman. And so growing up in Mississippi that, you know, my Mississippi heart was warmed by the fact that he was a Southern gentleman. And, um, and he really, something that we see in Joe Willard, and then um, we also saw in Carney's house party is that someone who really um, is worth your time, you know, a suitor, let's say, who's really worth your time, is not going to belittle your interests and make you seem silly for liking things that they don't like. They'll be interested and intrigued and want to know more about it. And I really love that about him. And um, just seeing the friendships that she builds in here. And like I said, I just love how she really, she fills her life with really useful things, but things that energize her and that are fun for her and that she's passionate about, um, including a little bit of gardening in there. I really liked this one. And there was a book that was referenced. 
that I wanted to read. I looked it up. The library does not have it. I can't find the exact title. It's by Arnold Bennett and it's something like how to live 24 hours in a day. And I thought, oh, it sounds like a really interesting book for productivity. Um, because at one point, Jed, who is the love interest, he asked Emily, like, how do you do so much? And she said, oh, I read Arnold Bennett's book on how to live 24 hours a day. So I think it's something about like, time management, something like that. But it sounded like a really intriguing book. And I'm like, if it helped Emily, I would love to to learn about it and to read it. Yeah, so I really enjoyed this one. I, um, I, it definitely exceeded my expectations. I just love Maud Hart Lovelace. And um, yeah, I just I love her so much. So then next month, we will be reading um, Winona's Winona's Pony Cart. And it is really short. I think it's around 150 pages. And it's going to go back to yesteryear when Betsy, Tacey, and Tib and Winona are all really little. I'm really looking forward to that. And then I am planning just myself uh, to read at Christmas time. There is a book that of course escapes me and I'll put a picture of it here. It's a little Christmas novella and I think it's a, a legend of some different Christmas trees, something like that. And it's really hard to get a hold of, unfortunately. You know, I'm telling you this and it's hard to get a hold of. But I was at my parents last um, Christmas and I was just looking on their shelves and there it was. And apparently I think my mom had found it at a library book sale. So I definitely want to read that. And then she has a book that set I think it's during settlement years in um, Wisconsin. Of course, I'll put a picture of that also below. And I think I'm going to save that for middle grade March. Thank you for joining me. Let me know what you thought of Emily of Deep Valley, if you liked it as much as I did. And I will be back for another video soon.